New at four, an invasive fly from Asia could be causing all kinds of environmental problems here in the Piedmont Triad. The first live population was found in the Kernersville area last summer, and it's still the only known infestation in the state. Luckily, they are harmless to animals and humans. The only harm they pose to humans is a nuisance basically uh, being kind of an annoyance, really, but they don't bite or sting. The spotted lanternfly, it's one of the most prevalent invasive species in the U.S. It's an insect that looks like this, about an inch long, gaining its name from its spots. The major problem right now is a nuisance. They're going to be present in high numbers. They, they, they don't have a lot of natural enemies right now or parasites. Uh, that's one thing a lot of people are studying. The bug is native to Asia and was first found in the U.S. and Pennsylvania in 2014. It's managed to spread to 12 states in just eight years. Recently, the insects were spotted within a few miles radius of Kernersville. Really, in this situation, they were looking for and they confirmed a breeding population. Uh, and, uh, and this year, they're finding uh, actual young uh, emerging and actually, you know, showing that they're reproducing here in the area. The spotted lantern flies feed on plants and during heavy infestations could cause problems to certain fruits. For instance, the grape industry is really worried because there has been evidence that they can uh, impact grape growth and production uh, by massive feeding on that plant. The pests can also impact popular plants used for landscaping around homes and businesses, which is another concern. They do become overwhelming sometimes on plants. They can build up huge populations. Officials ask that if you see the spotted lantern fly, take a picture of it and report it to the State Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services.